you guys are back. <laughs> the honorary knight returns triumphant. Yep, we're back from tussling with Diwali. You just returned yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. <sighs> I wonder if I'll ever get an opportunity like that. That doesn't come into it. You guys deserve all the credit for how you resolved this crisis. When I brought you into the city that day, I was just doing my duty as an outrider. You're welcome. But have you been waiting for us here this whole time? Of course not. Just because I'm not out on the front line doesn't mean I don't have work to do. In fact, I'm dealing with the aftermath of the crisis as we speak. Aftermath? Here? What happened in Mondstadt? While Master Jean was away, the monsters lurking nearby made a coordinated attack on the city. Fortunately, we weren't completely taken by surprise. I detected the hilly churls were moving closer to the city a while back. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers. When we first met, you were clearing out one of their camps. Exactly. And if we hadn't started making preparations back then, Mondstadt would be in much greater danger by now. I know. It's strange. Hilly churls aren't usually capable of coordinating like this. Our best guess is that the Abyss Order is behind it. I'm sorry. You should be celebrating your victory, not listening to all this somber talk. Hmm, I promised to take you out for some sticky honey roast, didn't I? Before everyone got caught up in the storm terror crisis. There's no time like the present, right? You guys hungry? You bet! You may have forgotten till just now, but it's been on Paimon's mind this whole time! Awesome, let's go! It's been way too long since I last ate a sticky honey roast myself. Wait for me at Good Hunter. I'll be right there. I just have to clean up here real quick. <sighs> what timing. Not only was Jean away right when the hilly trolls attacked, but Kaya had disappeared too. Luckily, the knights on hand all did an admirable job, and we successfully defended the city. I guess Kaya must have had his reasons. I mean, it's not like he would have just sat the whole thing out at the cat's tail, right? Right? As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. It's been getting quite busy recently. Greetings! May I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. It seems your great battle sharpened not only your combat skills, but your wit as well. Ah, <sighs> a knight after my own heart. <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call her the Princess. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. Hmm, I agree. He sets a terrible example for someone who's cavalry captain. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. <laughs> 
So, now the Storm Terror threat is behind us, what are your plans for the next step? Paimon thinks it's time to leave Monster and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about his sister. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. While I don't trust myself in the kitchen, you can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You'd better head there now. This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the Holy Lyre de Hamil. May the animal archon protect you. I cannot ask you to keep defending the Lyre forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. Um, it's just, it's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Uh, 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 the Holy Lyre! Oh, uh, Barbados! Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough! Uh, oh, give it here. should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Lyre. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. <laughs> what? You don't get far! Hey, don't go! Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets, looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <laughs> Should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a no Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. Venti! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. 
come before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> So you noticed. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people allogenes. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven, the Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace, and the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. Five hundred years ago, I knew her well, but I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened five hundred years ago, and after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the seven, Many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone, hmm? <laughs> In any case, this year's Rite of Dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, you'll just have to wait another year. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? <sighs> well, then bye! We're going! One moment, Windborn Outlander. <laughs> just use it gratefully. Or, better yet, treat me to a glass of dandelion wine. Traveler. As you set off on your journey once again, you must remember that the journey itself has meaning. The birds of Tevat, the songs in the cities, the Tsaritsa, her Fatui and the monsters, they are all part of your journey. The destination is not everything, so before you reach the end, keep your eyes open. Use the chance to take in the world around you. Great! So, that's that for the Animo Archon's admonishments. Back to Venti time. If you want to chat, now's the time. A bard stays not always in a single climb. Up till the end, Devalin remembered his duty as one of the four winds. Is here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint you. Anything the knights can do for you. 